Fantastic. Are you good to go? Yes. Fantastic. Let's Great. high five. Good. Thank you. Uh, so I've been at UNESCO, which is the UN Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, for about four years now as Wikimedia in Residence. I work with several UN agencies to help them share their knowledge on Wikimedia projects. I want to ask what Wikimedia's relationship to the Sustainable Development Goals could be in the future. Please keep in mind there are very clear time limits to many of the SDGs. The world has less than 12 years to halve our carbon emissions, and that humans are causing species extinction at least a thousand times faster than the natural rate. The Sustainable Development Goals provide a framework for changing the world, and Wikipedia is one of the main places people are going to for the information they want to make that change. 500 million people read 20 billion Wikipedia articles every month. Wikipedia is available in over 300 languages. To put this into context, Facebook is only available in 100 languages. In 2016, the Wikimedia Foundation asked people what Wikipedia meant to them. This response helps me think about Wikimedia's role in the goals. Wikipedia is why, even though I spent most of my adult life out of school as a refugee, when I finally got to a safe place and into a university, I was able not only to compete with my peers, but to excel. Wikipedia's impact on the Sustainable Development Goals is hard to measure, but it's happening. People often talk about large social media platforms having responsibilities. Given Wikipedia's audience and the context of the SDGs, what responsibilities does Wikimedia have? Does it have a responsibility to provide content that will help us reach the Sustainable Development Goals? I think it does. If we accept Wikimedia ha is playing a part in the goals and has a responsibility to provide information, what could the future look like? I find this quote really helpful in thinking about the relationship between the goals and Wikimedia. Where your talents lie and the needs of the world meet is where you find your true purpose. Achieving the SDGs needs action from governments, NGOs, community groups, companies, and individuals. The, important, the information needed to reach the SDGs is currently spread over thousands of websites. It's extremely hard to find, given Wikimedia's reach, and it has a unique role to play in the goals. I think that Wikimedia could become the central knowledge repository for the information we need to reach the Sustainable Development Goals. In fact, I think Wikimedia are the only ones who could do it. Wikimedia's strategic direction states, by 2030, Wikimedia will become the essential knowledge infrastructure of the ecosystem of free knowledge, and anyone who shares our vision will be able to join us. At this point, I want to remind you we have less than 12 years to halve our carbon emissions to prevent catastrophic climate breakdown. I think Wikimedia needs to get really serious about working with other organizations to achieve the goals. Wikimedia has the audience and the infrastructure, but most of the uh, information is held by other organizations. As an example, this uh, image comes from the Hubble Space Telescope, which make all their images available for free, which is great because the Hubble costs $10 billion. We have to work with other people to get all the content we need. What if this same level of quality and like professional uh, content could be made available across all of Wikimedia, not just images, but also text, data, and 3D models. Who do we need to work with to make this happen? So who holds the knowledge to reach the SDGs? Every organization has unique knowledge to share with the world, but if we want to prioritize content related to the SDGs, a really good place to start is looking by who is already working with them. Partnerships can do more than improve Wikimedia content. They understand Wikimedia from other perspectives and can help Wikimedia understand itself better. This is the African humanist philosophy, uh, philosophy of Ubuntu. That person is a person through other people. Uh, this is the original drawing for the UN. Uh, it's uh, drawn by Franklin Roosevelt. 
Uh, so let's use the UN as an example of a set of partners to explore what might be possible to achieve uh, in the next, in the future. Wikimedia is already working with several UN agencies. Uh, I'm working at UNESCO, Wikimedia Argentina and Wikimedia Foundation are working with OHCHR on human rights. May Hashem is working with UN Women on gender, and Sherry Antoine is working with uh, UN Secretariat on, di and on diversity and inclusion. The UN holds much of the knowledge people need to reach the sustainable development goals, uh, but currently it's very hard to find this information. The World Bank, which is part of the UN, did a study that showed a third of their reports had never been read, and only 13% had been read more than 250 times. Let's look at one specific UN agency, UNESCO, where I've been working for the past four years. Like many other UN agencies, UNESCO performs many roles. It collects knowledge from across the world. When you hear a statistic like 260 million children out of school, UNESCO are the ones who collected that information. It's a convener of people. It has thousands of partnerships built up over 70 years with governments, NGOs, universities, and other UN agencies. It educates millions of people around the world on the Sustainable Development Goals, including through its very large social media channels. UNESCO's work on the collection and creation of knowledge is mainly done through producing hundreds of books every year. These publications are extremely high quality and written in accessible ways by experts, but currently, experts spend, but currently asking these experts to uh, write Wikipedia articles just isn't isn't a viable option, they don't have the time. Fortunately, UNESCO publishes under a Wikipedia-compatible open license, so we developed a simple process to add the text from these publications into Wikipedia. We now have over 250 articles using text from UNESCO that are viewed over 4.8 uh, million times per month. UNESCO also has over 100,000 photos in their archives, stretching back over 70 years. The, they document the history of the work of UNESCO, but also by extension, they document the history of the world. UNESCO has recently started uh, to agree to upload the content, uh, and they're doing that in partnership with our host, Wikimedia Sweden. So they're gonna play a role in educating people through, uh, around the world through Wikipedia. So one project that brings UNESCO and Wikimedia's expertise together is Finding Glams. So Wikimedia Sweden and UNESCO are working together, funded by the Swedish Postcode Lottery, to build the first worldwide database of cultural heritage institutions. Having this information in one place is extremely important for education, but also for protecting cultural heritage. As an example, after the earthquake in Nepal in 2015, Many of the cultural heritage institutions, uh, their collections survived the earthquake, but were destroyed because people didn't know where the, the museums and libraries were, so they couldn't protect them from the rains. This isn't just a problem for the Global South. Research from the Council on Library and Information Resources found 98% of the archives in the US were at risk from climate change this century. So this is what our database currently looks like. As you can see, much of Europe, North America, and Japan are very well documented, but basically the rest of the world is invisible. That's because the data is missing. By partnering with UNESCO, it's much easier to work with cultural organizations, governments, and the public to collect the information we need and make it accessible in Wikimedia in over 300 languages. For Wikimedia to become the central knowledge repository for the SDGs, what can we do now? If you work for an organization and want to share your knowledge on Wikipedia, the answer is fairly simple. Contact your local Wikimedia chapter or user group, and they'll help you guide, guide you through the process. For Wikimedia contributors, I'd like to offer two suggestions. Firstly, there's a concept called testimonial injustice developed by Miranda Fricker where someone's knowledge is ignored because they belong to a specific social group. Wikimedia is based on what we call reliable sources. However, when people's knowledge is ignored by these sources, 
and when we use it on Wikipedia, this perpetuates the injustice and creates an invisible hole in Wikipedia. I think we need to fix this urgently. When we connect knowledge from different parts of the world, it doesn't just flow from the global north to the global south. It flows in both ways. Introducing everyone to new ideas and new knowledge. Enriching our experiences and makes, it makes us more capable of solving problems, including the SDGs. Secondly, I find it really helpful to think about the concept of congruence, which means acting in line with your values. Your knowledge of how Wikimedia works is extremely valuable. You can both improve Wikipedia content together on your own and also work with partner organizations to help them share their knowledge on Wikipedia. Uh, Doug Hammarskjöld, who's the second Secretary General of the United Nations, said the United Nations was not created in order to bring us to heaven, but in order to save us from hell. I think Wikimedia has a responsibility to provide the information people need to save themselves. And I think we should get to work on this soon. We don't have a lot of time left. Thank you. So, thank you. This is to a sister organization. We have done some donation in Wonderful. your name. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very, thank much. You thank very you. much for your speech you. and all the amazing work.